Welcome back. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this spoolie. This is on the end of a Anastasia brush, I believe. It is the number 12 brush. And I'm just going to comb through my brows so that they're all going the same way. Then I'm going to be taking the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to be very lightly drawing a line right underneath my brow. Um, I'm doing very light pressure. I'm not pushing really hard because you don't want that area to be harsh And I'm just gonna draw a line right underneath the brow going from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner And I am putting a little bit extra pressure in that area because I do have a bald spot You know we plucked a little too much there and then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eyebrow So now I'm going to be taking Anastasia's Dip Brow. This is in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm going to be using this to fill in my eyebrows. I take a little bit on this flat kind of angled brush. I believe this is from the Sephora collection. But any angle brush will work just fine. And I'm just going to be drawing um, a line on the top of my eyebrows. So we did the line on the bottom with the brow is. And now I'm going to be connecting that line with the bottom line. And then just filling in the brow but I'm doing very light pressure because I don't want this to be heavy or dark um, just a little bit of that brow pomade goes a long way so a little bit is all you need and then just keep building up the product as you need it and I'm just going to be going through the brows and filling it in completely So I'm going back in with that number 12 brush from Anastasia and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be drawing a line starting from the inner corner because I plucked a lot so that's usually where my brow is supposed to be starting um, and I'm just going to draw a line and then start flicking up with the brush creating brush like hair like strokes really um, I used to square off my brows like with the angle brush and it just was too harsh and it just didn't look natural to me. So this is the way I've been doing it recently and I feel like it's a little bit more natural because it looks like brow hair right there. Um, so it's just personal preference however you like to fill in your brows. Um, I've been hell and back with my brows. I tweezed way too much. I went to beauty school, got them waxed and you know how that is if you ever went to beauty school. You will not have brows once you graduate um, but yeah so I'm just kind of fixing the areas that I feel need to be filled in a little bit more and then just still going flicking upwards with those brush like strokes to create like little fake brow hairs and then I'll go through the rest of my brow with the pomade just to fill in any blank areas or any bald spots So then again, I'm just doing the same thing to the other eyebrow. I'm just going to be drawing a line with the pomade on the top of my brow. I do accentuate this one a little bit more because I do have um, a bald spot more on the top of this brow than I do on the other one. So I do create that heavy arch up there, but I do go in and carve it out with concealer to make them look identical. Um, I try my best because brows are sisters, they're not twins, so it's going to be kind of hard to make them look perfect even though they're not meant to be perfect. Um, so I'm just filling in that area with the pomade and then I go into the front of my brow and I kind of wiggle that little angle brush like side to side 
just to fill in that blank area right there but I'm doing very light pressure like I'm barely touching it in there because I don't want that to be too harsh. So then I'm going to take that number 12 brush from Anastasia with just a little bit of product left on it. You don't want to like dip it back in because it's going to be too harsh and I'm drawing that line directly under the brow where my inner part of my brow is supposed to be and then I'm going and making those little hair like strokes right in the center. Um, I kind of just do them like the way that my natural brow hair would, would look if it grew there. Um, but because I've waxed my brows so much and tweezed them, I really barely ever grow hair right there anymore. So I just gotta fake it till I make it, right? So right now I'm basically just looking at both of my brows and seeing if I need to add more hair or what, if they look symmetrical or not. I don't know. Brows are literally like my nightmare. I hate brows. I know that's like a sin to even say, but like they're just so difficult and like I really, really want to get like microblading done. I just feel like it would be easier. That's going to be a freckle. Fuck it. So now I'm going in with that MAC. This is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation, but I actually use this for cleaning up my brows. And I'm going in with this little Morphe Flat Definer brush. And I take a little bit on that brush. You don't want too much. And I go directly under my brow. And I start from the inner, the inner part of my brow and then I draw it outwards. This is really going to help like define the brow a lot more and make it look nice and neat and tidy so that, you know, in case you messed up on anything, you can just go in and fix it with the concealer. So I do that on both brows just to make sure that they are identical in case you went a little overboard on one brow and not the other one. And yeah. So now I'm just taking whatever's left on that brush. I'm not going to dip back into the concealer and I'm just cleaning up the top of my brow just to define the arch a little bit more because I did go a little heavy handed in that area so I just wanted to clean it up so that it matches the other brow. And then I'll go in and do the same thing to the other brow and just clean up a little bit on top. Um, you want to make sure that the concealer is not too too light up here because this is kind of supposed to match your foundation color but since this is a full coverage foundation and it's in my shade, it works perfectly fine. So just make sure that it's the same color as your foundation if you're doing it on top. And then I'll just go back in with that little spoolie just to brush through the rest of my brows so that they're not too harsh and you kind of separate the, the hairs from the pomade. And I'll just go back in with that Anastasia Brow Wiz just to fix any bald spots or anything. I don't want to go back in with the dip brow again because I don't want it to look too harsh. So I'll just pencil in a little bit where I feel is needed. So now I'm just using Anastasia's brow gel in dark brown, I believe. It's tinted and I'm just going to comb through my brows just to accentuate the brow hair so they look a little bit more natural and this is going to keep your brows in place all day so that they don't move throughout the day. And once you're finished with that, that is my brow routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!